We just got back from Trader Joe's. I've actually never been to Trader Joe's before, so this is very exciting. And this is a very fall themed Trader Joe's haul. So let's start off. Um, well, this, this is the pumpkin spice latte from McDonald's. I did not get this at Trader Joe's, but thought I'd share it with you because it is fall themed and it is so delicious. Their pumpkin spice lattes are amazing. You should definitely try it. Anyways, um, first couple of items I guess aren't exactly fall themed, but we ended up getting a French baguette because I kind of want to do like a cheese board kind of thing. You know, do like a little movie night with all these little goodies in front of us. So um, I have the French bread, French baguette. Okay, so I actually did end up doing the whole cheese board kind of thing with a movie night. It was so much fun and almost all of the stuff that you see in this picture is from this haul. So I did really enjoy all of the food. The food was amazing. Even my husband loved it. So I highly, highly recommend. Okay, back to the haul. Then my husband got the French vanilla ice cream. This is what it goes. And his favorite dessert is tiramisu, so he got this as well. Let's see. All right. I'm just going to randomly pick and choose. Okay. So this <laughs> is just regular corn tortilla chips, but they're shaped like fall leaves. Oh, my goodness. How cute is that? <gasps> I can't wait. I actually got a salsa to go with this which I will show later on, but there's that. And then right next to it were these pumpkin tortilla chips. And these are actually um, like cinnamon and nutmeg flavored, nutmeg flavored. <laughs> and um, so I don't know what I'm gonna eat this with, but they looked yummy. This when we were waiting to pay, this was on the side. And of course, you know, those things always get me. So this is the pumpkin spice batons. I've had like the chocolate version, but I've never tried pumpkin spice version. So that's exciting. What is this? Oh, coconut water. This my husband must have put in. Coconut water. I did end up getting some soups. Don't know where the other one is, but this one is the autumnal harvest soup. So I thought this would be really easy to just heat up and enjoy with like a grilled cheese or something. Yum. And this is the salsa that I got to go with those uh, tortilla chips. The fall harvest salsa looks so good. Can't wait to try that. All right, next we have this pumpkin spice rooibos tea. I love rooibos tea. Is that even how you say it, rooibos? But I love the container too. So that's also why I got this. <laughs> Not gonna lie, remember, packaging, I love it. And then they had these two little goodies right next to each other, pumpkin butter and maple butter. I haven't tried either of these before, so I can't wait. These look so yummy. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I have no idea how I'm gonna use these though. All right, so that's one bag down. Let's go on to the next one. And the first item is the pumpkin spice coffee. This will work perfectly with my little Keurig that I have over here, so can't wait to try this out. Then I got this gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. Yum! It says you can have your pancake and eat it too. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cool. And then I also got this pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. It looks delicious. And these beet crackers sounded interesting, maybe with some hummus or something. And petite pumpkin spice cookies. They looked frosted to me, so mm, they look pretty good. Kind of like those animal frosted animal crackers or cookies. I never actually tried those either, so we'll see. And this is the other soup that I got, the pumpkin bisque. Tis the season for soup, so. I think I'm pretty set. All right, that's the second bag down. Let's go on to the next one. I got a few mochis. I was craving mochi, so chocolate peanut butter mochi. I didn't even know it was peanut butter, but yum. The green tea mochi, I've never tried this. 
and I got the Thai tea mini mochi. And then for my cheese board, I got this little autumn shimmery, I think. I don't know. I'm not like a cheese person. So, but this looked really good. Yeah. Ship shimmery, autumn. I'm not even sure, but it looks so good. And I will let you know what I think about it on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me there. Then I got these pumpkin spice pretzel slims. And it's with crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds on there. Yum. That looks really good. My husband wanted this for dinner, I guess. It's a little pizza. And he also picked this out. These little vegetable bird's nests. <sighs> looks interesting. Can't wait to try this out. All right, three bags down, one more to go. Okay, I absolutely love bread, and I found this pumpkin brioche twist. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh my gosh. It's like nice, big, chunky slices. It looks delicious. And then I also got pumpkin bread. This one's such a tiny little loaf, but... Mmm. It smells really good though. I can really smell the cinnamon. I think it's actually this bread that I'm smelling. It smells so good, but yum. We also got pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds. Yum, that just sounds amazing. And then, oh my gosh, dark chocolate sunflower seed butter cups. I've actually never tried sun butter, so this should be pretty good. Next we have pumpkin biscotti made with pumpkin puree and spices. They're like these little mini biscottis. I love the Noni's uh, chocolate covered biscottis. That's usually like my favorite. But this one looked really nice, perfect for the season. And I love pasta, so I was really excited to find this. They're shaped like little pumpkins. How cute. Oh, I can't wait. I hope they have like a sauce or something. Because I have no idea what sauce to use for this, but it looks so good. This was actually the first item we got <laughs> for grapes. We started off really healthy, and then, as you can see, it didn't really end off really healthy. But these are just seedless grapes. They looked really cute. They're so small. So I got seedless grapes. I got purple because purple is my favorite. Um, are you a purple? grape person or a green grape person? Let me know. Next, we have good old maple syrup. I love this little handle. <laughs> so cute. And last but not least, we got the maple sugar candies. This reminded me of Friends when, you know that episode where Ross just eats all of their maple candy? Dude, let's drive home. We'll hit all the maple candy stores on the way back. And if, if they're closed, then maybe we'll, we'll tap a tree and make some ourselves. <laughs> It's empty. <laughs> Hi, you guys. What's going on? Do you, you guys want to hang out? Or... <laughs> do, you, do you guys hear a buzzing? So I'm assuming it's the same kind, but oh my gosh. I've always wanted to try it ever since I saw that episode, and now I have my chance. So I'm going to taste test this. Eventually, let me know again if you want to see a video of the taste test. But other than that, this is my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know what you want to see next. Um, other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!